Hello, my name is Jared Wheeler. I'm an application engineer with 4D Technology. I'm here to talk to you today about how to calibrate the XL, Inspect XL, with our calibration standard. Uh, this is the multi-height standard that is traceable to PTB, NIST, it's ISO certified. Um, please contact so we can send you all the documentation required. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So you put it underneath the Inspect. Now, the Inspect does need to be in a stand. It well, it doesn't have to be, but it's a heck of a lot easier if it's in the stand. So you put it on the screen. Um, it's in relatively close focus. Um, brightness is, doesn't, it's not that picky, but you put it where you can see it, right? Um, over here, you navigate down in the hamburger menu, down in the control room, the general settings, and push calibration screen. And now you see um, kind of like a crop blue cropping come up. So you want the inspect to be inside this window, and it doesn't actually matter which way. For the X, so the, the standard inspect, it does matter, but for the XL, it doesn't matter. You can do both ways. Um, and that kind of the tricky part with this calibration is that the XL has a bigger depth of field. So if the standard size index, the smaller size, um, if you're not in kind of best focus, it's really obvious. The colors go green, you can tell you're out of focus. Whereas with the Inspect XL, the depth of field is over three times as big. So um, you actually get green over a nine millimeter range. So um, but for the calibration, you need to be at kind of the best focus. Um, we're calibrating really tightly, and, and we need to be the idealized measurement. So um, what you want to do is, as you try to calibrate it, um, you want to take a measurement first to start. Um, it's probably not going to pass on this first go. Um, and then as you, w when you get the results, you want to adjust the focus until you dial it in. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to adjust, I think it's down. So I'm going to go down a little bit. Look at that, it passed. So I just had to adjust the focus from the kind of just in the green range to the kind of ideal focus. And that's what I just did there. Now you can do both ways. Um, the software is, has become pretty forgiving and they can have a little bit of angle, uh, a little bit off the center um, and it accepts the data. Um, that works pretty well. Um, as far as more about the standard itself, this is, since it's non-contact, this is good for five years before we have to send this back to either whatever um, company is um, certifying this. Um, now the common question is how often do I have to do the calibration? Um, that is truly set by uh, company policies. So our biggest customer, our largest customer, um, does it every six months. Um, so we'll do it every year. Um, it doesn't matter to us. Um, the reason being is that the instrument doesn't really go out of calibration unless it's broken. Um, so there's no moving parts in the system. And if it's broken, that's you throw it on the stairs, um, whatever. Um, they, it won't even give, even give you data. So the instrument um, misaligned or whatever is, there's no data given to you. So you either get data that's in calibration or you get data that's no data at all. Um, so it's pretty straightforward from our perspective. And uh, how, many, how often you calibrate it is set by company policies. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.